we're going to test so low for a disease called degenerative myelopathy that is very common in German Shepherds, but actually even more common in boxers. So they have a genetic test for it now, and Eli is homozygous normal, meaning he won't produce the disease. I'm really only doing this for Kim, because we don't sell the, the puppies for breeding. Um, so because Eli is not affected or a carrier, then I can tell people the dog won't have that disease. But we're going to test Solo, and if she is at risk for the disease, all the puppies will be carriers. They'll still be unaffected. If she's a carrier, a percentage of them will be carriers. A percentage of them will be clear. And if she's clear, then all the puppies will be what they call clear by parentage. So regardless, no matter what I breed Eli to, he's not going to produce puppies that have that disease. And that's really the point of genetic testing. A lot of people would think, well, we're going to identify all the carriers and eliminate them from the gene pool. And you really don't want to do that first generation of testing. I mean, you really, as long as you're not producing any affected individuals, that's the goal. And actually, in some breeds, depending on the disease, they actually have to breed carrier to carrier because they're, if not, you have such a small gene pool. Anyway, so what we're going to do is just take this sponge thing and get saliva on there. Oh, she doesn't like it. Well, I hope she's not one of those ones with the dry mouth. Oh, so no. And then, oh, let's get one more. Oh, then what we're going to do is take this card here. And there's a lot of different ways to do DNA testing. But what we're going to do is, no, so no. I'll sponge this on to this card. She's got a slimy run all around. Not going over the line. And then it's going to change color. It's not like CSI where one little, one little drop So if they can't garner DNA from this, so we put it all around there, and then what they'll do is look for the genetic marker that indicates whether the dog is at risk for the disease, carrier or clear. They'll be able to tell us. And so we'll be back with those results when we get them. Bye, you guys.